Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae at Silhouette Secrets Plus, and in today's video, I wanna share with you how you can easily install multiple versions of the Silhouette Studio software on a Windows computer. Now, I, this is specific to Windows computers because Mac is completely separate. Mac users, you can have multiple versions easily on your computer, and you just wanna make sure to change the name in the applications folder. If you are a Windows user, it is a little bit different because it overrides the existing program if you install a version of Silhouette Studio that's higher than the one you have. So there's a couple things before we get started. Um, the first thing that I need to make you aware of is that the more versions that you have on your computer, I have several currently because I do a lot of testing and different things, the more versions you have installed on the computer, the more space it takes up. So over here on the right hand side of my computer, I have my versions in separate folders and you can see the size is 1.26 gigabytes of this particular version. Each version that you install is going to take up space on your computer. If you already have issues with running Silhouette Studio or have low hard drive space, this may not be a good option for you to do you will need space for these programs to be housed and then running them is a completely different part of the process. You can only run one version of Silhouette Studio software at the same time. So only, only have one open. Um, you'll probably freak your computer out if you try to open multiples at the same time. So I have several over here. So that is the first thing that I wanna make you aware of. The second thing to be aware of when you are installing multiple versions is that you cannot install a lower level version of the software without uninstalling the current version. If you try to install a lower level than what you currently have, you will get an error message that there is already a higher level of Silhouette Studio uh, installed on your computer. You would have to uninstall, so in the bottom uh, search bar on your Windows computer, click on the search bar and simply type uninstall and click on add or remove programs. This is how you can uninstall the Silhouette Studio software on your computer. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna come down to your bottom taskbar. You wanna open up a Windows folder. So I just have my Windows folder. I have maximized this Windows folder on my computer for you to see. And then you're going to come over to the left-hand side in your tree, um, that's what I call it, on your computer. Double click on the C drive. That is where your Silhouette Studio software is housed. Now, if you are using an older, older version, um, if I had to guess, it's prior to version four, um, somewhere in there, version 4.3. Um, I'm not gonna take the time to go look. If you do not find the Silhouette Studio software under program files and you are using an older version, you will find it under program files x86. So currently with the current software versions that have been released in the last four or five years, it is now found under program files. Double click on that, scroll down to find the Silhouette Studio, Silhouette America folder. Double click on that and you'll see here that I have Silhouette Studio. Now, I simply copy the entire folder. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna choose copy, and then I'm gonna minimize this, and I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to go to my desktop, this is where I am storing it, and I'm going to choose paste, or control V. And then it's going to completely copy that folder onto my heart desktop. It moved over there, so I'm simply gonna move it over here. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna click on the name, and then I wanna add the version number. Let's see if it'll let me do this. I can't remember what the last one I have. Okay, I have two folders with 812. Um, so I add the version number here. And if you are a Mac user, then you will want to um, name that separately in your applications folder as well. Um, that way you'll be able to identify them. So I'll just put this here as version 4.5.81 for now. See, I already have a folder where I've saved this. And then what you wanna do is you wanna open silhouetteamerica.com. You're going to click on software. And 
then you're going to choose the version that you want to install. Currently, as I record this video, I am not recommending version five. Um, I would click on legacy versions and then it's going to take a minute to open up, or not a minute, several seconds. Um, clicking on legacy versions seems to take longer than the regular pages to load. There is a lot of information on that page. So under legacy versions, you're going to see several different options. Because I already have version 4.5.812 installed, that is the version I am recommending most users use at this moment. Because I already have that installed, I'm going to use version 4.5.815 as my example. I'm going to click on the Windows 64-bit, because that's what my computer is, choose I am not a robot, and download. It's going, my computer asks me where I want to save this. Um, this is your installation file. I just go out to my desktop, but on a default on a Windows computer, it will save it to your downloads folder. So because of that, once I saved it to my desktop, I can either go up here on, I'm on Chrome, so it just depends on what web browser you're on. I can choose show in folder and it's going to open in my Windows folder, or I chose my desktop, which means it's out here and I just have to find it on my desktop. So let me look for that. It's going to come over here. And the way you can designate that it is an installation program is that the W6R at the end of the file name, that is your installer. That is not the Silhouette Studio software. It is the installation program. So I'm going to double click on that. And then it is going to go through the installation process and it's going to install it in the same exact folder we copied from. So it's going to install it over top of the software from the C drive programs files. So if I click next, here is where it's designating. So anytime that you are downloading files from the internet or from somewhere or it's installing software, you can always tell where it's going to install that file. You can either tell it where it's going to install or here, right here on your computer, this is telling me that it's installing on the C drive under the program files in the Silhouette America folder and the name of it is going to be Silhouette Studio, which is exactly what we found when we started and we copied the folder. Now it's going to go through the installation process and it's going to give me some pop-ups. When you get those pop-ups, or it may show up in a shield that needs to be clicked on and approved in your bottom toolbar. That is a Windows feature. It is not something Silhouette has put on your computer. It is a Windows thing that you have to approve those pop-ups. So it's gonna go through the process of installing and just takes a little bit of time. Not gonna speed this up, this is real time. So I just want you to know I'm gonna take a drink while it's doing that. So you can see exactly how long it takes to install on my computer. Again, if you are, if it looks like it's stalled and it's not completing, make sure to look in your bottom taskbar on your computer for a shield. Now it says it's finished, it's going to launch. So you can see that it did not take very long at all to install the software on my computer. Then it's gonna open up the version that I just installed. If you have that little box checked, you can choose to uncheck it and then complete the process. And it's just gonna take it a little bit of time. Again, I'm not speeding this up because I want you to see real time. Now it tells me I have some recovered documents. It lies, I don't have recovered documents. Um, I'm just gonna click on discard all. You wanna keep your recovered documents cleared. So if it does bring up recovered documents here and for sure you know that you don't have, that you've already saved those, you can just go ahead and discard. But if you have recovered documents in that list, please empty it. That means that your software has to remember every single file that you have that's in that list, all the data from those files, every time the software opens. That can be problematic. 
So I'm gonna choose discard. That's a little extra bonus there. And then your software version is found under help and about Silhouette Studio. On a Mac computer, it's under Silhouette Studio in the top left and then under about. So if I click on that, you can see that I have installed version 4.5.815. Now, if you have installed the Silhouette Studio software or your software has somehow had an update that you approved, you have to approve those updates. If you have it change and you do not see your software upgrade, which is designer edition, designer edition plus or business edition, you can easily activate that on software that is higher than version 4.4.554. You're going to just click OK to get out of here. Go up to help in the top left corner and you're going to choose apply upgrade edition. Now mine is currently active, so it's not going to bring that up. Although now when I click on it, it gives me a, my old email address. Um, all you need to do is, since mine's active, it's not gonna walk me through it. Apply upgrade edition, and you wanna enter your email and your password only. Do not click the blue arrow. Do not enter a code if you have previously had it active on your software. You simply need to log in with your email and your password. If for some reason you do click the blue arrow or you enter the code and it stalls or it, go, it just doesn't do anything, close the software, reopen the software, it will reset and then enter your email and your password and click OK. Once you are logged in, you should see your software upgrade as activated. Again, you can find that under help and about Silhouette Studio. The numbers, the letters, the numbers tell you your software version. The letters tell you what software upgrade is active. I hope those tips help you with your Silhouette Studio software. Keep in mind that every time you install the Silhouette Studio software on your computer, that takes up more space on your computer's hard drive. Any software program, any Windows update, automatic Windows updates take up more space on your computer's hard drive. Keep that in mind. If you do have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.